A study by vaccine maker BioNTech and the University of Washington shows that if you've had the Omicron variant and are vaccinated, you probably won't get ill from another COVID-19 variant. Well, let's get more from the director of the Future of Health and Medicine Project, uh, Professor Benjamin Smart, <coughs> as I have a very badly ill-timed cough. Prof, good to have you with us uh, here on ENC. I just want to ask you about this vaccination because it's getting a bit more complicated with the various uh, Omic uh, with the various COVID variants. So if I have this right, if you had Omicron and vaccinated, you won't get COVID again. Is that my understanding? Uh, that's not quite right. It's, it's more that if you have uh, the vaccine and you've had uh, the Omicron variant, uh, then your immune system is better primed uh, to deal with a broader range of coronavirus variants. That certainly doesn't um, mean that you're not going to get coronavirus in future. Uh, we all know that you can be vaccinated and have uh, an immune system that's prepared for coronavirus and still get the virus. But it does mean that you're less likely to become seriously ill. And it does mean that uh, your immune system is, is better equipped to deal with the virus. Uh, and so when we talk about the future of health, if I can uh, use part of the title from the project uh, that you're involved in, uh, 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 Prof, uh, South Africa is not very good with our vaccination so far. The numbers are far too low. So far too many of our population could get still seriously ill then from Omicron, never mind the new variants down the road. Well, that's right. We're, we're currently at around 50 percent, which is significantly below uh, where we'd like to be. You know, a lot of countries in the West are up around the 90, 95 percent mark for, for adult populations. Uh, and it would be really great if uh, the South African population could get vaccinated because, uh, as this study shows, uh, whereas having infection, prior infection with Omicron does boost your ability to deal with the uh, with, with a broader range of variants than just the vaccine alone, uh, merely being infected by the Omicron variants and not having um, had the, the vaccine does not give you that broad response. Help me understand uh, one or two of the, the online uh, research articles that I've looked at. If I have this right, a pair of studies, Prof, showing that infection produced uh, as a result of having COVID-19 uh, pre presents an even better immune response than a booster shot in vaccinated patients. That's very complicated, I realise, but is that true? Uh, well, what, this, what the study found, the study followed uh, a number of groups, people that had just had the vaccine, people that had had the vaccine, but also had been infected by Omicron, uh, people that had not had the vaccine and had not been infected by Omicron and so on. It studied a, a large number of groups. And they found that uh, the best immune response, the broadest immune response, the one that would combat not just Omicron, but also Delta and other variants, came from those people that had both had the vaccine uh, and had been infected by uh, Omicron. Uh, BioNTech, uh, who make vaccines, uh, want to use this as an argument to produce a new vaccine that is uh, developed specifically uh, towards uh, the Omicron variant, which makes sense, uh, but they are a, a vaccine producer, of course. Uh, but the University of Washington, who, who did a different study, found some similar things. So uh, those are the, the findings of those studies. Yeah, I suppose you've got to be very careful, don't you, Prof, uh, taking in too much uh, from studies from the actual producers themselves. I suppose this is going to be a bit of a problem as well when we're trying to get more people to take their booster shot and this kind of research comes out. But I'm seeing a lot of people, Prof, tell me what you think, uh, that are not quite understanding the difference between what could be a new vaccine for a new type of COVID-19 versus a booster shot. It's all starting to get a bit grey and muddled, isn't it? Hmm. Well, the, the booster shots are just uh, additional doses of the, uh, of the shot that you've originally had. So, uh, you know, if you've had the Pfizer vaccine, you might go for another uh, Pfizer vaccine and it will be the same one. Um, but it will just be sort of reminding your immune system uh, how to deal with the virus. The, the idea here is that because uh, Omicron infection in particular uh, seems to help your immune system deal with a broader range of coronavirus variants, that they should produce a new vaccine, uh, not a booster, but a new one uh, mm -hmm. that is targeted at Omicron that will hopefully provide the same kind of immunity that infection from Omicron does. But of course, uh, you know, in South Africa, a large proportion of the population have actually uh, had exposure to Omicron already, something in the region of 70%.
So what would that mean then uh, with us now, uh, according uh, to Prof uh, Karim, that we're going into a fifth wave, there's uh, another potential sub-variant of Omicron coming out. It's difficult to keep up sometimes, Prof. Uh, would we all need to go for another vaccine program for the new variant of COVID-19? Or for those of us who've been double vaccinated, should we be okay? This study is, uh, claims to show that actually having, if, if you've been infected with Omicron recently, you might be able to delay your booster. Uh, but if you haven't had infection from Omicron recently uh, or infection from COVID-19 recently, then you should stick to the program, you know. Uh, wait the, the amount of time that you've been asked to wait and then go and have your booster shot uh, when you're called upon to do so. Uh, but really, I think that the most important thing most important finding from this study or from these two studies is that uh, to have the best possible immune response, you need to have both the vaccination uh, and ideally have had uh, exposure to Omicron as well. But of course, nobody would recommend going out intentionally and, and exposing yourself to coronavirus because although it is a, a relatively mild form of coronavirus compared to Delta, uh, it, it can still result in serious illness and, and death. And so, you know, obviously you'd never recommend that, that people go out and intentionally expose themselves in that way. No, of course not. I can imagine someone sitting at home going, ah, oh, the prof told me to go catch COVID. That's not what the prof said uh, at all. But I really appreciate your time. It is quite complicated, uh, prof, so I appreciate you just making sense of it for me uh, this morning on the show. Director of the Future of Health and Medicine Project, Professor Benjamin Smart.